for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome to our series of videos on coding with HTML5 and Dreamweaver CS5. If you've installed Adobe Dreamweaver CS5, you need to download the extension before you can uh, code with HTML5. So once you've installed Dreamweaver, you're going to go ahead and go to the Commands menu and select Manage Extensions. Once you do that, you're going to have the Adobe Extension Manager CS5 appear. Now once this has come up, you're going to want to quit Dreamweaver so that Dreamweaver is not running when you try to install this um, add-on pack. Now I've actually gone to Adobe's Dreamweaver site, which you can get to simply by going to adobe.com slash Dreamweaver, and then I've downloaded the Dreamweaver HTML5 extension pack. And again, just go to that page and you can go to uh, support and downloads, or you can just simply type HTML5 Dreamweaver uh, pack into the search engine and Adobe will take you right to that page. Once you've downloaded those extensions, you're going to need to install them. So I'm going to come here to click on the Install button, and you're going to see that um, this open dialog box appears. And I've gone ahead and I've downloaded them to a flash drive right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click right on that extension pack, and you'll see the name of it there. You can also go to Adobe's website, and if you search for HTML5 pack underscore P1 underscore 051910.zxp, you'll go directly to that page. Anyway, this is Adobe's special extension zip format. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then I'm going to go ahead and click open, and it will begin installing the extension. And after a few moments, it's going to check to make sure everything's running right with Dreamweaver. It's going to bring up the um, license agreement. You're going to go ahead and click Accept there, and it will begin installing the extension for you. And once the installer finishes, and it will take about a minute to install, you'll see when you select Dreamweaver over here, and you'll see any products you actually have installed from Adobe listed over here. You're going to see the extension there, Dreamweaver HTML5 pack, and it is enabled. You'll also see a description down here of what that does. In addition to HTML5 properties, it also adds some support in code view for CSS3 properties. So again, that's um, um, going to be a great um, help to people that are trying to code with HTML5 and CSS3. And you can simply at this point close the window by clicking right there and then launch Dreamweaver and you'll be able to begin coding in HTML5. I'll go ahead and close that off there and I'm going to go ahead and start up Dreamweaver. You can see here I've started up Dreamweaver and now when I go to the file menu right here and select new, the new dialog box will open on up for me and if I select HTML here under doc type, you're going to see I now have the HTML doc type available to me. I'll go ahead and click on that and then click create, and it will create me a new HTML page. I'm going to go into code view and you'll see there's my HTML5 doc type. And if I come down here and hit enter a few times, and then let me try and type an HTML tag here. Let me go ahead and type the, uh, the article tag. I'm going to go ahead and do an opening bracket and then ART and you'll see there's article and there are the different attributes that I can use with the article tool. So the HTML5 tools have been successfully installed. And again remember that also gives you some tools for coding with CSS3. So very valuable, very worthwhile extension to install into Dreamweaver. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high-definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. 
when we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.